The last method of solving quadratic equation that we will be dealing is the quadratic formula. This formula was derived from the standard form of the quadratic equation which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. We used the previous method in deriving the formula which is by completing the square and we arrived to the quadratic formula x equals negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. It is important to determine the values of a, b, and c in solving quadratic equation by quadratic formula such as x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0 values of a. 1, b is negative 5, c is 6. x squared plus 4x equals 0, a is 1, b is 4, c is 0. 5x squared minus 3x equals 4, a is 5, b is negative 3, and c is negative 4. Negative 4 because the given is not yet in the general form of the quadratic equation. Now, to solve quadratic equation by quadratic formula, we need to follow the following steps. Step 1. Transform the given equation into the general form of the quadratic equation. Step 2. Determine the values of A, B, and C. Step 3. Substitute the values of the quadratic formula. Number 4. Simplify to get the value of the roots or the value of your solution. And number 5. Do the checking and conclusion. So let's have some example. Solve the following quadratic equation using quadratic formula. Example number 1. x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals 0. Step 1. Transform the given equation to the general form. Luckily, the given is already in the general form. Let's proceed to step 2. Determine the values of A, B, and C. Remember, you cannot identify the values of your A, B, and C if your given is not yet in the general form. So, A here is 1, B is negative 4, C is negative 5. Step 3. Substitute the values to the quadratic formula. Write the quadratic formula first. The quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Substitute the values of a, b, and c. You will have there x equals negative times negative 4 plus minus square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 5 all over 2 times 1. Next. Negative times negative 4, that's 4. Negative 4 squared, that's 16. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 5, that's positive 20. And 2 times 1 is 2. x equals x equals 4 plus minus square root of 36 over 2. 36 because 16 plus 20 is 36. Simplifying square root of 36, that's 6. So you will arrive in this two answer. Simplify to get the values of the roots. So you will have there x equals 4 plus 6 over 2. On the other hand, you have x equals 4 minus 6 over 2. 4 plus 6 is 10. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So the values of x are 5 and negative 1. Continuation. Do the checking and conclusion. So if x is 5, make sure to substitute the value of x to the given equation. So that is the given. Substitute the value of x. You will have there 5 squared minus 4 times 5 minus 5 equals 0. Simplify. Using PEMDAS, you have 25 minus 20 minus 5 equals 0. 25 minus 20, that's 5. 5 minus 5, that's 0. So 0 equals 0, and that is true. Second value of x is negative 1. 
write the given, substitute the value of x, which is negative 1, you will have there negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 minus 5. 1 squared is 1, ne negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4, then minus 5. 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 minus 5 is 0. So this is also true. Conclusion, therefore, the values of x are 5 and negative 1. Example number 2. Negative x squared equals negative 20x. Transform the given equation to the general form. Our given is not yet in the general form. So that we need to transpose negative 20x to the left side of the equation to make it negative x squared plus 20x equals 0. And that is already the general form of the equation. Next, determine the values of a, b, and c. A is negative 1, B is 20, C is 0. Next, substitute the values to the quadratic formula. That's the quadratic formula, X equals negative B plus minus square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Substitute the values of A, B, and C. You have there X equals negative times quantity 20 plus minus square root of 20 squared minus 4 times quantity negative 1 times 0 all over 2 times negative 1. Simplifying this using PEMDAS, a negative of 20 is negative 20. The square of 20, that's 400. Negative 4 times negative 1 times 0, that's 0. And 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. Simplifying that, 400 minus 0, that's 400. So, negative 20 plus minus the square root of 400 all over negative 2. Continue simplifying, you will arrive x equals negative 20 plus minus 20 over negative 2. So, let's simplify to get the values of the roots. You will arrive with x equals negative 20 plus 20 all over negative 2 and x equals negative 20 minus 20 all over 2. Simplifying the first value... Negative 20 plus 20, that's 0. So, 0 divided by negative 2. On the second value, you have there negative 40 divided by negative 2. 0 divided by negative 2 is 0. On the other side, negative 40 divided by negative 2 is 20. So, the values of your x is 0 and 20. Let's do the checking. If x is 0, write the given. Substitute the value of x, and if we try to substitute, make sure to use the PEMDAS. So it's true. So if x is 20, write the given, substitute the value of x, which is 20, simplify, and that is true. Also, conclusion, therefore, the values of x are 0 and 20. Example number 3. 3x squared minus 4x equals negative 1. Transform the given equation to the general form. So all we need to do is transpose negative 1 to the left side. It became 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. Identify the values of a, b, and c. a is 3, b is negative 4, c is 1. Quadratic formula, substitute the values of A, B, and C. So, remember the quadratic formula is X equals negative B plus minus square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Substitute by A, B, and C, you will have X equals negative times negative 4 plus minus square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times 3 times 1 all over 2 times 3. Negative of negative 4 is positive 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. Negative 4 times 3 times 1 is negative 12. And 2 times 3 is 6. Then you will have there x equals 4 plus minus square root of 4. Because 16 minus 12 is 4. Continue, you will have there x equals 4 plus minus 2 over 6. So you have there x equals 4 plus 2 over 6. On the other hand, x equals 4 minus 2 over 6. Continue. 
4 plus 2 over 6 is 6 over 6. On the other side, 4 minus 2 is 2. Our first value of x is 1, and our second value of x is 1 third. Make sure to simplify your answer. So the values of x are 1 and 1 third. For our last step, do the checking and conclusion. So if x is 1, write the given, substitute the value of x which is 1, simplify. There you go. Negative 1 equals to negative 1 and that is true. Another value of x which is 1 third. Write the given, substitute the value of x, and then afterwards, simplify, you will get there, negative 1 equals negative 1. And it's also true. Conclusion, therefore, the values of x are 1 and 1 third. More examples in solving quadratic equations by quadratic formula. Direction, solve the following quadratic equations by quadratic formula. So example number 1, x squared minus 8x minus 20 equals 0. Step 1, transform the given equation to the general form. So since our given equation is already in the general form, we have no problem with it. Step 2, determine the values of a, b, and c. The value of our a is 1, b is negative 8, c is negative 20. Next step, substitute the given values to the quadratic formula. Write the quadratic formula first, which is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So substitute the value of your a, b, and c. We'll have here x equals negative of negative 8 plus or minus square root of negative 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 20 all over 2 times 1. Next, simplifying this, we arrive that negative of negative 8 is 8. Negative 8 squared is 64. And negative 4 times 1 times negative 20 is positive 80. At the same time, 2 times 1 is 2. Now simplify 64 plus 80, it's 144. So x equals 8 plus or minus square root of 144 over 2. Next, the square root of 144 is 12, so you will have there x equals 8 plus or minus 12 over 2. Separate or simplify the get to get the values of the roots. So you have here x equals 8 plus 12 over 2. On the other hand, x equals 8 minus 12 over 2. 8 plus 12, that's 20. So 20 divided by 2, and then 8 minus 12 is negative 4. 20 divided by 2, that's 10. Negative 4 divided by 2, that's negative 2. So the value of your x is 10 and negative 2. Lastly, do the checking and conclusion. So for the checking, you have there if x is 10, substitute the value of x to the given equation. So you have to write the equation, substitute the value of x which is 10. And then simplify that one, 0 equals 0, and that is true. So 10 is correct. Next, if x is negative 2, write the given, substitute the value of x which is negative 2, simplify, and you can get 0 equals to 0, and that is true. Conclusion, therefore, the values of x are 10 and negative 2. Number 2, x squared equals negative 10x. Transform the given equation to the general form. So the general form of the equation will be x squared plus 10x equals 0. Identify the values of your a, b, and c. a is 1, b is 10, c is 0. Next, substitute the values to the quadratic formula. Write the quadratic formula first and then substitute the values of your a, b, and c. So you have there x equals negative of 10 plus or minus square root of 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 0 all over 2 times 1. With that, negative of 10 is negative 10. 10 squared is 100. Negative 4 times 1 times 0 is 0. And then, you have there 2 times 1, that's 2. x equals negative 10 plus or minus square root of 100. Because 100 minus 0, that's 100. And then the square root of 100 is 10. 
next. Simplify to get the values of the roots. So you have their x equals negative 10 plus 10 over 2. On the other hand, you have x equals negative 10 minus 10 over 2. Negative 10 minus 10, that's 0. Negative 10 minus 10, that's negative 20. Simplifying each, 0 divided by negative 2, that's 0. Negative 20 divided by 2, that's negative 10. So the value of your x is 0 and negative 10. Lastly, do the checking and conclusion. So if x is equals to 0, write the given, substitute the value of x which is 0, simplify 0 equals to 0, and that is true. Next, if x equals negative 10, write the given, substitute the value of x which is negative 10, simplify 100 equals 100, and that is true. Conclusion, therefore, the values of x are 0 and negative 10.